morning. My name is Jay Rothman and welcome to Hike and Heal Series Live. I am coming in uh, from North Scottsdale, Arizona this morning and I thought I would take uh, a few moments just to check in. It's been some time. It feels like it's been, oh, about uh, three weeks or so since I've come in and, and just done a spontaneous Hike and Heal Live. But I, I invite you to take a moment here to join me. Adele Jacobs, I cannot believe. Good morning to you. Good evening. Coming in from South Africa. It has been a long time since I've said good morning or good evening to you. Iona Mead coming in from the UK. So we've got South Africa and the UK joining me live this morning. I just wrapped up a 3.7 mile nature hike along this beautiful trail here in the background uh, and I wanted to take some time just to reflect on this this weekend that I just wrapped up just as you did. Uh, it has been just an absolutely beautiful weekend out here in Arizona. We uh, good, good greetings. Greetings to you too Adele. We uh, you know we always have choices in life how we spend our weekends in the United States. This has been a weekend of I believe football and uh, baseball playoffs. Uh, for those of you that are sports fans and are into the games and into the competition, God bless your heart. That's how I used to spend my weekends for decades. Uh, today, uh, my weekend was spent very differently. I did not pay attention to the scores, to the games, to the winners and to the losers. Instead, I kept a focus on my own health and doing things that actually make me feel real good. So on Saturday, I was suggested that we go and do a, this hike that's not one of my favorite hikes because it is a very difficult hike for me. There is no rest. You're literally climbing, uh, uh, you're inclining up this mountain. You're not looping around it. You're just going straight up at a very, very quick and high altitude change. And so uh, it's, it's not been one of my favorite trails. Uh, so I space it out and sometimes I say, no, thank you. But on this weekend on Saturday, I said, okay, we'll do it. And, uh, and so we did it. It took us uh, round trip about three hours or so. We took some time and we got to the peak and we actually uh, just rested, just hung out on this beautiful slate, slate flat rock uh, for about 30, 40 minutes or so and just enjoyed the peace and quiet up at the top uh, by ourselves predominantly. And then yesterday morning, uh, we decided to, to come out and do another hike back to back. Typically it's unusual. I usually spend my mornings on the trails by myself, but this weekend I decided to to have a friend with me, to have Mary, my fiance, uh, AKA my angel. And so we came out to this trail yesterday and we had a choice either to do uh, an extreme difficult hike again, just like Saturday, or to take the nature trail. And uh, Mary said, let's, let's, take, let's go up to the peak, up to Tom's Thumb, which again is a rated uh, double diamond, extremely difficult. That hike took us three and a half hours. It was, uh, I don't know if it was because I hadn't done this particular trail in a while or because we did extreme difficult hikes back to back two days in a row. But uh, I know it's a good one when Mary starts to complain about her foot hurting her uh, just from the wear and tear of being on this, uh, this long trail. And so we had an amazing weekend. By the time we got home yesterday, we were both extremely sore, uh, tired, but I felt really good. Felt really good to, to feel tired. Not tired from exhaustion, but just tired from exercise and being in nature. And so that was just an absolutely beautiful experience. I'm just gonna take a few moments here just to also welcome those that are joining me. Renee uh, Marie, uh, if you may share again where you are coming in from, Keith Blanchard. Let me know, I believe you may be coming in from overseas. Anita Lerma, thank you so much for joining me this morning on this live. I wanna just take, also take some time here to just uh, also reflect on um, why it's been quiet the last two or three weeks. I have not done a hike and heal a spontaneous live. And primarily it's been because I've been focused on my health when I'm not coaching, when I'm not working with, a, let's say with a, uh, my clients, I've really kept my focus on paying attention to my body, doing the self-care that's needed in this moment, and really focusing on a lot of the emotional healing, continuing to work on the emotional healing that I do through, uh, through my spiritual practices of hiking, um, meditation, prayer, song, and um, nature bathing, grounding, and just really keeping a focus on my, on my healing process as I allow my body to continue to, to do its magic. And, uh, and so that's why it's been quiet. You know when you start a new, new class year at school, 
and uh, the first day is always you have some excitement but you also have some um, let's say uh, discomfort anxiety perhaps to to walk into that classroom well that's how I felt this morning for the last uh, 15 minutes when I was getting ready to come on live it, it almost feels like the first day of school all over again for some of us uh, I don't think we ever we ever hit live and feel 100% at ease or peace with going live and and sharing our experience uh, our and uh, what we have to share but uh, for me yeah it's it's like kindergarten all over again uh, but I pushed through and uh, so I hit live and said no matter what I'm here the last part of this uh, hike and heal I wanted to chat with you about is you know I spent a couple of decades battling uh, migraines well migraines I've had since uh, I was a teenager as well as high blood pressure the last couple of decades that I was aware of it and no matter what I did in over the last uh, 10 years or so to try to uh, help lower my blood pressure nothing seemed to work a matter of fact I, I've spent hours uh, just researching high blood pressure, uh, journaling, uh, researching journals, medical journals, and uh, working hard to just figure out what was the root cause behind high blood pressure. Primarily because I knew that was tied in directly to heart disease, which I had uh, also been had uh, had encountered. So what I what I found was that the only time my blood pressure went into normal range was a year ago, September when I went and did a 20-day water fast. I completed 19 full days and I was about to jump into my 20th day when I, I, uh, I decided to exit out of this water fast. But for those 20, 19 days or so, my blood pressure dropped from high, even on blood pressure pills, to a normal range without taking my blood pressure pills. And Within a week or two of being off the fast, my blood pressure started to climb back up into into a range that I was not comfortable with. And so for the past uh, year or so, I've, I kind of played with the pharmaceutical for high blood pressure on it, off it, on it, off it. And um, really, totally, absolutely stumped. I had no understanding. I had pre pretty much, I said that I didn't, <laughs> I'd studied so much to figure out what was the root cause of this high blood pressure? And unfortunately, the Western medicine, including cardiologists, uh, any type of specialist that I went to, including my primary care physician, had no idea what could be the root cause other than they said, well, it's just, you know, maybe it's, it's just genetic. It's, you know, your dad had heart disease, so maybe that's why you have high blood pressure. And so their only answer and solution was you have to be on pharmaceuticals. You don't have a choice. And, uh, and that's where that just motivated me to say, I don't like when some, someone tells me I don't have a choice today. And so I just dug deeper and deeper and eventually found a doctor out here, Dr. Jack Wolfson, who came, who has his own protocol for working with uh, clients that have suffered or been uh, battling chronic disease. And one of the first things he did was uh, suggest that I go have some major testing done through blood work that is not covered by insurance, but will give him and I uh, a greater indication as to what could be the root cause behind autoimmune disease, behind heart disease, behind high blood pressure, behind migraines. The, the list just keeps going on and on and on. And so I went and had the blood test done. And lo and behold, uh, I was diagnosed with something that just absolutely shocked me. It's called celiac disease. And I was also diagnosed with leaky gut. And those two diagnoses, besides those two, I also had my microbiome in my gut was totally out of control. I haven't counted, but I probably, I think I had somewhere between 30 and 40 of organisms that were not in a normal range. They were either too low or too high. And... Uh, well, I got a, some kind of bee here or something. I am going to step away from. But in any event, um, through the testing, we were able to determine that I actually had uh, undisclosed to me, unknown to me, I had celiac disease, which is a wheat intolerance. And therefore, um, I had some significant gut damage. The gut damage was caused by a, uh, by a number of things, primarily years and years of being on antibiotics for different sinus infections, bronchitis, 
uh, you name it. Uh, any type of infection I got, I ran to the doctor and got uh, antibiotics, as well as the fact that be, unless you're eating grass-fed beef or you're eating organic um, free-range chicken or poultry, you are, you are actually ingesting antibiotics from the animal, that the animal protein that they were fed in order to, be, in order to, uh, to become the food for you. So we ingest uh, antibiotics, whether we are consciously taking them or we're unconsciously digesting them through our nutrition. And so the second part of that, steroids, antidepressants, all medicines pretty much cause, especially antibiotics, or cause significant damage to your gut. And we're not, uh, we're not, under, we don't not explain to that by our, by our traditional Western medicine doctor. And so we go on for decades uh, getting prescriptions, ingesting, taking, taking pharmaceuticals for um, acute disease and sometimes chronic. Not understanding that what we're doing is, is we're causing some significant ga- damage to our gut. And eventually someone like myself, uh, who not only did I not take care of myself through, um, poor nutrition, lack of exercise, smoking, tremendous amount of stress. All of those also contribute to poor gut health. And so through the, through this testing, they determined that I had these diagnoses and there is some, the great news is that through taking action steps and creating a new protocol for my gut health, I have immediately started to see some significant improvements in my overall health. Now, of course, the ones that I could measure, I share with you. The ones that are more quiet, I will only know when I take further testing in, in sometime by the end of this year or early next year. But what I do know is within two or three weeks of being on a new, uh, let's say, uh, supplements, as well as ingesting new foods, new nutrition for gut repair, my migraines disappeared. I was in the middle of a migraine season that was very, very significant. I was getting two or three migraines a day at this point. And within two weeks, my migraines just dissolved. And uh, I have also watched my blood pressure drop down from everyday normal ranges um, that were above normal. They were over 135, 138, 145, over 85 or 90, pretty consistently. I actually watched my blood pressure drop down every single day for the most part until last night was a beautiful 118 over 75. I am 100% off of all pharmaceuticals for blood pressure under the direction of Dr. Wilson, who is now my new my new doctor of, of health, my new doctor of hope, my new doctor of inspiration. And so I want to take a moment to shout out to Dr. Wilson and uh, Carrington, who's, who's his health coach, who have been part of my medical team today and have actually have given me tremendous hope and inspiration that, uh, that I am, in fact, healing all of the diseases, including heart disease, as well as APS, the rare blood, blood clotting disorder that I had been diagnosed with in 2015. A matter of fact, today is the, actually tomorrow, I think today is the 14th. Yeah, today is the 14th. Tomorrow will be four years ago that I was released from the hospital. Tomorrow will be a four year anniversary. It actually is my new birth date. I call it my new birth date because it was a birth date that I had my awakening and I had the courage to say, no, 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 I am not going home. No, 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 I've got to change everything in my life if I want to live. If I want to live, I have to be willing to take massive action and make the changes in my life that I didn't even know I truly needed to make other than some immediate short-term, let's say, changes to release toxic relationships and, um, and a lifestyle that was literally taking me out. So tomorrow is a day I probably will come back on live and share my reflections on what it was like in that moment on the 15th at around between 10 a.m. and 12 noon when I was released from Cedar sinai Medical Center in Beverly Hills, California, and began my healing journey. But let me say this. I am healed today. Why am I healed today? Because migraines are gone. That's it. They're out, out, done, history. Yes, yes, yes. And secondly, high blood pressure, no more. It's gone. And it's going to be gone forever. Now, how did I do it? This is real simple. Pay attention here because this can make an impact in your life. First thing you got to do is go for that gut test. That test cost me about four, 450 or so. There's two tests. One is a a wheat zoomer test, and then there's a there's a gut another gut test that I did. 
If you want more information on it, PM me. If you want to get into the into the same type of protocol that I got into, I can I can connect you with Dr. Wilson and Carrington or Ashley. And there's different ways to jump into a program for greater health. Uh, you don't have to do it exactly the way I did it, but there are more there are other ways that may be more economical, cost efficient for you. But here's what I had to do. I had to be I had to be willing to change my protocol, get on the supplements that they offer to me, as well as start taking a probiotic every day, which I had never done, as well as start to eat daily, consistently, fermented foods such as fermented sauerkraut, fermented pickle, um, yogurt. Now, I don't do um, dairy yogurt. I do a, a vegan yogurt that's got the probiotics in it. And, uh, and uh, it's been a, that's been a great experience. I also now drink kombucha every single day. I drink a little bit of kombucha, about, I think it's uh, eight ounces or so. And so those fermented foods plus the supplement is what's doing the gut repair. Big time, big time. In less than six weeks, blood pressure is normal. Migraines are gone. And this to me is just an indication, a small indication as to how much gut repair has taken place in, within my body. And I know, I know in my heart, I know in my soul that this gut repair is in fact dissolving APS. It's gonna dissolve it 100%. That's what I believe is my truth today. And I'm gonna keep believing it until it's done, until we can say affirmed, yes, 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 I am 100% healed. Matter of fact, I'm gonna say that right now. I am 100% healed. Yes, 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 yes. And so as I wrap up this Hike and, Hike and Heal series live, I wanna just take one more moment to thank you for joining me this morning. Uh, let's see who we got. Christine O'Connell coming in from Long Beach, California. Amy Illowitz Singer. She, Amy, good morning, good afternoon. Actually, it's uh, probably, yeah, it's afternoon for you back east in Connecticut. Uh, my cousin coming in from the East Coast. Alex Smith, good to see you. Uh, let's see who else. Desiree Stewart, good to see you as well. Thank you for joining me on this live. Christine says, my neuro actually connected autoimmune diseases to migraines, to my stomach issues, and yes, all connected. Yes, Christine, my friend, you got it. That is exactly, that's exactly right. When they did all of my, my when I got all my blood panels back, not only were my micro, my microbiomes were so jacked off, they were so off, they were so screwed up, so damaged, but they were able to connect that to heart disease, able to connect it in the blood results to neuro, to the neuro, uh, neuroscience, neurological diseases that potentially I was vulnerable, like Alzheimer's, like dementia, uh, like there was like six or seven significant Parkinson's disease susceptible to it because my gut was in such bad, bad disrepair. Um, uh, so they say that, you know, the mind body connection, they say it starts in the mind, the body follows suit, but there is a huge connection between our stomach, our gut, the foods that we, that we eat and the diet that we, uh, the medicines that we ingest in and we don't do any, let's say proactive gut repair. We should be on, in my opinion, we should be on probiotics on a daily basis for as long as we have another breath. Sharon Poe, good to see you. Bob, thank you for being here. Chris King is watching. Uh, Christine says, take so many supplements. First course of action for my neuro versus a traditional script. It was interesting. Granted, still take some prescriptions. Need to work the plan discussions coming in December. Carrie Crary coming in from Scottsdale, Arizona. Good to see you, Carrie. Um, Christine says, I do probiotics. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Rosa Lee coming in from the Netherlands. Christine, she says, Christine O'Connell autoimmune is connected to trauma mostly. Um, yes, that the root cause is trauma, and uh, most of that trauma is taking place in the gut. And so when we, we, uh, we want to heal our gut, we want to heal our gut so that we could turn off the other um, symptoms that we have, whether it be at the brain level, uh, at an autoimmune level, at the heart disease level. It, it will all, it all ties in. We just have to have the courage and the willing to invest in ourselves. This month, spend $400 on that gut test instead of a new pair of, uh, a new pair of shoes, perhaps, if you uh, buy some expensive shoes or however you spend that $400 a month. Maybe you can, maybe those tires can last one month longer instead of buying four new tires. Uh, invest in your own health and, uh, and you'll, you'll get a, ho a lot more tread on, uh, on your own health than you will on those new set of tires that you may buy for $400 this month. 
So in any event, have an awesome day. Thank you for joining me live. I have just wrapped up my hike and hill series. Have an incredible day. Welcome to a new week, and we'll catch you next time. My name is Jay Rothman. Take care.